We are back with one of my all-time favorite series that I've done for this channel is where we spin a wheel to decide the Warriors game and then spin a second wheel to decide the category for that said character in that game. You all make sure it's a debate and support. Thank you all very much. Let's just go ahead and spin the wheel. We already know the thing with this. We're just going to spin it, see what game we get, and then we'll change over to the other wheel and see who we end up playing as. And we're going to be playing Wally is Orochi 2, which is very convenient. I actually have my 360 already all set up, so that's really perfect. We're we'll playing Warriors Orochi 2 on the 360, so we're going to be moving over to this gigantic wheel right here. We're going to spin the wheel, see what type of characters we get. And again, whatever we land on, we're going to do that for every single character, unless that's not possible, which I assume it would be. That will not be possible. <laughs> that will not be possible because we don't have SW4 characters. When I say this, it was for the category of SW4, so we're actually going to leave that on the wheel. We're going to have to spin again because that's just not a possibility. There are characters from SW1 that go into there, but I meant like SW1, like just like where they're positioned, is basically what I mean. Okay, we got something that we could do a lot better with, which is strategists only. So we'll be doing strategists only on Warriors Auto T2. I'm going to go make the team, and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, and here's the team that we're going to be using for this video. We're going to be using Dodgy, who is our Warriors Orochi strategist, Juge Leong, who is our Dynasty Warriors strategist, and then Kenshin, who is our Samurai Warriors strategist. I was really contemplating between him and Shingen since they're both good on strategy, but I decided to go with the God of War since I don't remember the last time I've even played with him before. So these two, not the greatest level. She's at 55. Again, just like how it was for Warriors Orochi. I haven't played much with the... 360 version of the game. I 100%ed everything on the PlayStation 2. Not so much on this one yet, but I'll get around to it eventually. But regardless, here we are. We're playing Edo Castle on Orochi's Army's version, and we're just going to go into it and see what happens. This could either go really good or really bad. Oh, look how pretty this game looks, though, on the 360. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Glorious war. All right, so yeah, I guess we'll just try to see how far we can get into this with uh, Jigeliong and Kenshin for starters, since they are uh, not at the strongest, but we're just playing it on normal difficulty, so you know we're gonna get a nice little balanced experience, at least for Kenshin and Jigeliong. Daji will kind of just be here every once in a while, unless I just find her really fun, but sometimes her hit detection in this game can be a little poopy, I'm gonna be honest with you. But we at least have Kenshin and Jugeliong to make up for that really bad hit detection. And also, is the camera the camera's inverted in this game. I do believe it, but I am very upset about it. I need to lower the game volume as well a little bit. Good lord, that is loud. Yeah, be. Alright, so we're just gonna keep going around the castle. Probably stay on the outside of the castle, get rid of all these bases on the outside first. Then we'll start worrying about going inside the castle afterward. Well, let's at least just get rid of these guys really quick. I think we did start with a horse, didn't we? We did. We did start with a horse. It's over... Oh, wait. We already started with a red hair? I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we did because uh, Masamune doesn't have, like, the Persian mare in this game for some reason. Really bad decision to do that, Koi Tecmo. All right. At least we got red hair, so we should be able to get around the map really quick with all this stuff. Get rid of these base captains. And, again, if anything ends up feeling like it's going slow, we'll do some cuts and everything, but... This map isn't too big, and I'll try to just get rid of as many characters, as many soldiers as I can. Not to mention being on the being on the horse is insanely powerful as is. I'm one shotting everybody, so we should be okay. We're already making our way over to another officer as is. So let's just go ahead and just get rid of these guys in the north, and then we'll try to keep going further in as we go. Obuyasu Goto. Yeah, no, I, I've been having a really big, like, fun time playing all these like older games. Specifically, like, when we were playing, like, the last video, I ain't gonna lie, sorry if it wasn't the best one, just wasn't really into Warriors OG 4, but it's on the wheel, and that's honestly, I just felt like it'd be appropriate to leave it on the wheel regardless. It was an okay time, but I just wasn't really feeling it all that much, so maybe next time I'll do, like, an actual stage, and we won't have to worry about Infinity Mode. I just tried to do it with something that would give me a little bit of difficulty, but at this point, I wanted to just play the games just so I can get some reliving of the, of the games. That's it. That's the reason why we're doing this series, so I can relive a bunch of these older games and experience them more, not really try to dread my time playing them or anything, so that's why we're doing just this right now, so there will be times where I feel like, yeah, we can go a little difficult with it. Other times I'll just be like, eh, I just want to relive the game, see how it was, because honestly, I really did enjoy Warriors Odyssey 2 a lot. I think I, I don't know, I'm always on the fence between Warriors Odyssey 1 and 2. Odyssey 2, most of the time, is my personal fave. Warriors Odyssey 1, though, did have some really fun stories, but I don't know, this game just felt more enjoyable to me. I don't know why. The thing about it, I just really like. I think because a lot of the stuff got like ironed out in this game, some things you just couldn't do, and then a couple little added things here and there that they put in. The only still thing that I'm still upset about with this game is the fact that your growth points are also technically your currency. I think that's kind of like lame, in my opinion. 
But aside from that, it's, it's honestly still a really fun game. I still would recommend it to this day. I would recommend, obviously, the first three Warriors Odyssey games. The fourth one, especially after I played it um, for that last Friday video. I just wasn't feeling it, to be honest with you. I wasn't really feeling it at all. I think... Uh, I think the nail's in the coffin for that game for me. I just I just couldn't enjoy it all that much. All right, let's head over here and try to help out, especially since Coach Whip is struggling over there. Coach Whip. Detention just so we can get rid of these guys really quickly, and then we'll do some Juge Leong as well. I think we still have one more base over here. Oh, wait, did I not get that? Let me grab that. Also, I really do like Masamune's voice actor in this game. It's really good. It fits his character really well. Oh, they just got reinforcements as well? Good lord. All right, well... Doesn't look like there's any officers. It looks like it's just troops, so that shouldn't be anything terrible. I'm hoping that we'll be able to just get rid of this guy really quick. Hopefully be able to get through all these base captains, which I think we managed to do. Looks like one guy did spawn on the left side, though, so we're going to have to backtrack and go deal with him. Let's do a little bit of Zhuge Liang, though. And again, we'll do some more dodgy as well as we get further in. Well, let's finish this side at least. Try to see if we can finish this side at least with uh, Zhuge Liang. He does have the weaker weapon out of all three of them. He is technically the weakest link on the team, but uh, he'd still be pretty decent for us. He's still taking out officers as we go. But I don't see him being the one that'll be like the game changer for us or anything. He doesn't have anything super crazy on him. He only has his second weapon on him. Again, I've just been really struggling with it. Not struggling, I've just been really slacking. It's probably the better term I should be using. Slacking, lazy. I've been really slacking with doing that stuff. It looks like they took out one of the bases on the top right as well. So I'll probably have to do a little roundabouts that way. Once these enemies are taken care of, inside, uh, outside Edo Castle, we'll be able to handle everybody else as well, inside the castle, without anybody hitting us from the outside. And out fought. I really like that. I love Jugeleon. I love, I love with like, I hate him, but I love him. Like, I love to hate him. I like his attitude a lot of the time, especially in these games. He really shows off his like more cockier side in this game, just because he knows he's just that damn brilliant. That's right. He doesn't have like a looping kind of like uh, stun attack in this game. I forgot about that. Right, let's do this one. This will hit people from around around the block. Ugh! Yeah. Got attempted to go inside the castle, though, because of all of these enemies are going to continuously keep spawning. But let me at least try to get rid of this guy really quick. Good hit detection there from Zhuge Leong. All right. Got him, though. All right. We got that done. Oh, yeah. I actually didn't think about that. Does, I think Kenshi needs his ability stuff, too. Oh, he only needs one more officer kill. Okay. And we got them taken care of. Alright, we're not gonna go inside the castle yet, like I said, until we get to, uh... Also, the freaking frame rate is dropping on this area, probably because of all the troops. Even on the 360, it's still dropping a lot. Yeah, let's make a little bit of a roundabout here, real quick, over here, to the right, to the left side, excuse me, of the map. Yeah, it looks like they got, it looks like all those reserves that Masamune pulled in. It looks like they ended up taking all those bases that I ended up taking earlier, so... Luckily, the bottom right one's still perfectly fine. Man, dude, has it been really fun to just relive this? Like, like I said, especially these older games. I've been having such a blast with these older games so much. I really... This is the seri This is what I look forward to the most when we do this series, the older games. Games like this, games like the first Warriors Orochi, the old Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors games, which I don't think we really ran into yet. We did do Samurai Warriors 2 for the first video, and I think I died in it, but it was still a really fun video regardless. Like, it was just... It was a blast. I really had fun with it. I'm just so, having such a blast reliving these older games. And just games I haven't played that much either in a long time, too. But specifically the older games. The older games have such, like, they have such a charm to them that, like, I don't know. I just feel like they can't be replicated in the newer games. The newer games, of course, are still really good. Uh, or at least, well, you know, up to, like, Dynasty Warriors 8 and Samurai Warriors 4. Or Sar Samurai Warriors Spirit of Sonata, I should say, which technically was the last one, I think, before 5. Those games still have their charm to them as well. I still think those games are really good. The newer ones, uh, they can be hit or miss. But these older games have just been such a great blessing to play, because these honestly were still part of my favorite part of the childhood, playing these games specifically. These games and wrestling games were my favorite time. And it was, honestly, when I was playing this on the PS2, this was the game I played the most. Because, again, it had Dynasty Warriors 5, it had Summer Warriors 2. Summer Warriors 2 Extreme Legends, actually, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh... If you do wish to uh, comment down below, then let me know um what was your personal... <clears throat> like, as a kid, specifically, if you were playing this as a kid back in the day, what was your specific, like, go-to game to play, like, you just played the most of? You can comment that down below. It doesn't have to be a favorite, because I'm sure, like, maybe some people's favorites have changed since, like, the newer games are out and everything. But in terms of just, like, any game in general, like, when you were a kid, if you were someone who played these games as a kid or something, what was, like, your personal go-to game? Or if you still prefer, you can even let me know what your personal go-to game is now. But give me your past and present game that are your go-tos. 
I think we should head back over to the left side again, because it looks like there's someone who just came out of the castle. Actually, no, let's go through here. We can just go through here. I think we'll be okay going through here. There's a base over here on the left side and the right side, and we'll be able to get, cut those off. Oh, maybe I won't be able to cut that one off, but I might be able to get the one over here, at least. Oh, Whip is still struggling, but understandable, because those those soldiers just keep spawning with, like, he cannot, he can't, he can't help it. I'm going to try to see if I can help out Coach Whip real quick. Hopefully he doesn't die. Uh, if he does, though, you know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, no, I really love the prequel story for Orochi. At first, I thought this story was going to be, like, Orochi, like, revived again. And then, like, we get to see it through his perspective of him finally getting a W. Which, technically, he still gets a W in this one. This is basically, again, it's the prequel that leads up to the first game. But I would have actually really liked a series where, or, like, like, uh, like a story mode where they had it to where, like, Orochi had his own story. And it could be, like, a hypothetical for all I care. I don't care. Where you, like, get revived and you're Orochi X and everything, and then you get to go in and just start mowing down people. Or you're a revived Orochi, like how you were in the Way story mode. And you, like, slowly build yourself up to being Orochi X with, like, trying to get down, track down Kimiko and everything. I think it'd be really fun. Like, you start up, your starting characters, I guess, would probably be, like... Because I know Dodgy was kind of doing her own thing for the most part. And she had Himiko with her. So I would probably, like... Oh! I would probably say, like, maybe your starting characters could probably be, like, Kiyomori, Orochi... I'm trying to think of who the other one was. Probably Soon Wukong. I think those three would be the good ones. And then eventually, as you get, like, into a later chapter, you finally get Orochi X. I think it'd be really fun. I wouldn't mind a, 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 a what-if story with Orochi actually being the one to defeat all the humans and everything. I would love to see sometimes if the villain can actually win, like, get a W, you know? Like, again, I know we get it in this game, but I would prefer to see when he was, like, his revived form or something. Like, his Orochi X one. Because the Orochi X one is a really slick design. I love it a lot. But I also do personally really love the uh, the OG Orochi too. But I don't know. I would just I would like to see something like that. God, her hit detection is poopy. That's why I don't play as her that much. Her hit detection gets better in the next game, but god damn, if they were like right next to you, you do not get any hits off. It's really unfortunate. Let's get rid of this guy because I think this is the last base that we can uh, that we'll have to deal with for the time being until we get uh, to the main keep of Edo Castle. I forget what happens in this chapter. I don't know if like if it's gonna be Hanzo there as like a double for Ieyasu or if Ieyasu actually is in or not, but I get the feeling he's not gonna be, part of me thinks. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a minute since I played this this game. But God is it bringing back so many memories playing it. I'm like smiling like an idiot playing this game. It's been so much fun. Alright, let's finally get into this keep and go deal with Masamune now. But yeah, we're kinda we're kinda cleaning house in this uh I'm sorry, my voice is kinda like deteriorating a little bit for some reason. We're kind of cleaning house in this uh, this stage right now. I honestly didn't think Kenshin and uh, <clears throat> Jigeli Ong would actually hold their own, but they're doing pretty good. Mostly it's been the Kenshin, like, the Kenshin show. Wait, is Masamune dead? Oh, no, he's in the main key. Okay, there they are. Let's go actually outside the castle and deal with them real quick. Uh, I was already prepared for this. Don't worry. I was prepared. That's why I didn't want to go too far. All right, where's our uh, the Kenshin out since he's our cavalry guy here? <clears throat> we could wipe them out with the cavalry, or we could play as uh, one of the other two since it's been, again, mostly Kenshin. Which, apologies. Kenshin's just really fun to play. I love this moveset of Kenshin's. Alright, so now we can finally get rid of uh, everyone over here. Where are you going, pal? Yeah, you trying to get away. I'm losing my voice! <laughs> I'm losing my voice as I play! It's the excite levels that are getting to me. Yeah, the frame rate's kind of poopy. Sorry about that. That's just old games, though. Oh yeah, I forgot he has that voice. May the gods show you mercy. Instead of the, May the gods show you mercy. Like he does in SW2. You, right. you are outclassed. You have been outthought and outfought. Okay, looks like they're fighting uh, Masamune right now. I think with the morale right now, I should probably go deal with that uh, that base first before I do anything. Oh, don't you let me fucking have it, mate. Damn. Ay! Oh, yeah. hi -yah! Oh, that didn't do much. Glorious War. Oh, yeah, wait, there's another thing we can do in this game. Yeah! I have the God of War now. Alright. Okay, so I guess uh, I guess that was the only thing. Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward battle. The only thing that we uh, had to leave, like, backtrack for was uh, that ambush unit. Let's go see if we can go deal with those uh, enemy troops inside. Alright, so he's a power. So this is, that was his only thing for the power. Let's just go in here real quick, because we're, we're going to keep fighting them over and over again. Hit Dodgy, she can go a little bit faster. I know we have red hair, but let's just go a little bit faster. But uh, Deji here. 
Alright, is there a base captain here? If so, this will be really handy. Okay, good, there is. Okay, so we won't have to deal with any more troops after this. Alright. You have no more troops to help you, Ieyasu. You are all alone with everybody in the keep. I don't know about worshipping, but I think Monster Muni is getting the wrong idea here. But you know what? That's fine. That's okay. I think the only cut is me going to just be going straight back to the keep. I think that's the only cut I'll be doing in this video because we've been kind of fast paced with this. And it's been just, it's been so fun, dude. I, I honestly want to keep, I want to, maybe I'll do a stream with this game eventually. Maybe not play through like the whole like story modes or anything, but just mindlessly play it, grind out some stuff, and uh, just do some mindless fun. Who knows? Maybe it could be like a fun weekend stream, or maybe after the Myco stuff is done. Maybe this could be my little break where we just do some mindless fun in Warriors Orochi 2. I would really not mind that. I think that'd be really fun to do. I think it'd be really, really fun to try that out. Just, just do a nice little fun chill stream. All right, let's clear out these enemies, and then I will uh, probably meet you back all over at the keep where we fight Masamune. Unless Masamune dies before I get there. Oh shit, I can just go in here. Perfect. <laughs> I was like talking to myself, I was like, hmm, where should I go? I probably have to go all the way around to like the original keep. No, I forgot, uh, we got the real the original keep done with already, so now we can just make our way over to deal with uh, Masamune and Ieyasu. Masamune, as far as I'm aware, yep, there was his morale dropping, so yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, we can just make our way over this way, perfect. Just deal with these men, and then we'll head over to Masamune and deal with him. All right, perfect, all right. That worked out really well. All right. Gotta make my way with my very slow... Actually, no, just use Dodge E, silly willy. God, I cannot wait to play more of these older games again. These older games just leave such a good taste. It's, it's so good. It's amazing just playing through these games. Oh, we got the slow motion happening again. <laughs> Hello there, Masamune. Masamune boy. Mm -hmm. I shall deal with you as Duge Leong, and then we'll use Dodge to take out... Actually, you know what? No, let's use Dodge to whoop both our asses. We haven't played with much Dodge at all. There we go. What is this? That was a little sus. All right, the Masamune. <laughs> oh, there's a treasure. I don't know if I ever got the treasure. Where's the treasure at? You're simply inferior. Oh, here it is. I don't know if I got that. I actually don't know. What's the treasure guide for that? It is defeat all the ambush units and climb the keep. Oh, okay. So there wasn't any time limit for this one. Okay, so this probably is actually it. I got dance. The life gauges of all allied. Uh, leaders have been replenished. Win. Look at them all. Look you at them. Can't win. Why? Because you suck. Because I'm the best. I'm not the man to rule this realm. Right, oh, Jesus Christ. We just went in as a wave. <laughs> oh, I wonder, actually. Oh, yeah. Tadakatsu wasn't in this battle. Yeah. All we can do is fight until the bitter ends. I forgot you can do these triple musos, which is really rad. You gotta change before they finish. Ah! Hanzo was up to live! You fool! Yeah, alright, Iyasu's all that's left. Iyasu, you're all alone, buddy. You got nothing. You have nothing. Your men, gone. Your ambush units, destroyed. Your little boy, Masamune, gone. You're all alone, big man. Big cannon man. Cannon man, big man. Come here, you're done. And boink. Dude, that was really fun. That definitely made up for Warriors OG 4. Again, no offense to Warriors OG 4. It was just kind of whatever. I didn't hate playing it that, that last week. But this just felt a good redemption arc. That really was fun. This game, these older Warriors games are still so much fun. Seriously, if you have not played these older Warriors games, there's plenty of ways to do it at this point with modern technology. Give it a try. Honestly, give it a try. These games... In just in case anyone's curious, Words Odyssey 1 and 2 are, of course, also on PlayStation 2, like I mentioned earlier on in the stream. Um, I highly recommend trying these games out. I I literally recommend it. It is These games are still really fun. They have aged very nicely, in my personal opinion. This game aged way better than the first game. The first game's still really fun, though. Do not get me wrong. It's still Dynasty Warriors 5 and Samurai Warriors 2. This one just has a little bit more added content, new stories. You get Orochi to play as right off the bat instead of having to unlock him through all the other stuff. It's really fun. I have I have had so much more time in this game than I did with the first game. It's so much fun. I really, really recommend you guys trying this game out. It is such a blast. I love this game to death. But alright, everybody. 
that is going to be where we wrap up the video for today. If you guys did enjoy it and you want to see some more of the Wheel series, then of course, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, if you like the content that you see, hit that sub button. We were trying to 5K on the channel. And of course, like I mentioned down below, what was your favorite go-to or what is your personal go-to, the one you have put the most time into in a Warriors game? Let me know down below as if you were someone in the past who played it as a kid or if you're someone who's playing it now, let me know down below. I'm really curious. That being said, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening. I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Farewell.